Hey guys, we're back with what's sold on eBay. Linda wants to be in a gang when she grows up. So anyways, that's why she does her gang signs. Uh, we are back with another what's sold for the weekend. Um, pretty good Friday through Sunday, Linda. How did we do? Um, oh, we did good. So we, did... Oh, we did well. I hate to be that guy, but. We did good. We done did good. We done did good. We did 32 sales for $12.95. We did have a $100 sale that's pending, and a guy bought something for $25 and told me he'll pay uh, a week from Friday, which when he bought it was on Friday, so next Friday. So I don't know why I waited to that point. To, I couldn't wait, but either way, hopefully that'll get paid for eventually. For those of you that don't know, we sell on eBay to make money so we can live in this house that we live in. The stuff you see around us is what we sell. And this is my beautiful wife, Linda, also the mother of Zane and Tori, our two children. She's a stay-at-home mom, does a wonderful job, and also helps out with the eBay business. And I have a full-time job as well, and we make it work. So let's go over what sold on eBay. <laughs> That's the spiel uh, pretty quickly, you know, for those of you that might be new or forgotten. What's first? Uh, first up, we have a Wonder Woman. This is a DC Unlimited comic. It's a great movie, by the way. Wonder yeah, Woman. both of them are. Yeah, Wonder Woman, though. DC was... Was on top of it for those movies. Yeah, this one's great. Um, and this is Princess Diana, Wonder Woman, and she sold for twenty five dollars shipped. We had Batgirl, I think, or another one, a different one. We sold the same, similar one. We paid five a piece, and this one sold for twenty five. It'll probably go over a pound though, so we'll make a little bit of money, but I'm not gonna pass that DC stuff. Ooh, do you know what this is? I have no idea. It looks like a trailer hitch, but but it's not. If you put this on your trailer, first of all, if you could even mount it, it'd be props to you, but. Anyway, this is a plane. It's a wood plane. Um, this one, no. if it's what? Yeah, Stan. It's Stanley Bailey is the brand. It's a four and a half inch one, I believe. I got a whole box of these for fifteen bucks. I didn't know anything about it. I knew what they were, but I didn't know which ones were valuable. Um, the guys said they were old. Paid fifteen bucks. Put them all at auction. Five or six of them, and one sold for eighty-one dollars. The other ones didn't sell, but almost everyone had watchers. And someone messaged me saying they want to buy all that I have at a discounted price. We're probably, I haven't relisted them yet. I'll relist them at Buy It Now or Best Offer. We've already made money on it and we just sold one. So And this is going global shipping program, guys. Yeah, so, so the guy is super happy about that. I did. I cleaned it up the best I could, but it definitely is not in the best shape. If it was in better shape, this particular one I think goes for over 100. Um, I was only in it for 15, so I just took a chance. Sweet. So that was a cool one, though. It's, those are pretty heavy, too. So um, definitely these ones. Uh, split second. I think it's over underneath yeah, the birthday. Next up, we've got Xbox 360. This is Split Second. It's a racing game. There you go. And that sold for $12 shipped. And we have another copy that I need to clean, so that'll be hopefully another 12 bucks there. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Do you guys like it when someone says it sold for $12.65 shipped, or do you like it when they just round up and they're like, it's sold for about 13 shipped? Like, do you want me to be specific when I say it, or are you okay with, with like me just saying like it sold for like? Well, I mean, it's their opinion, but obviously, if you say thirteen on the screenshot, it should say exactly what it is. So they should. Be yeah, able to but do you want me to say it for reals, or do you want me to say for it like reals? For reals, for reals. You know, like I do. I don't know. Let me know. I'm gonna try to improve her uh, reseller <sighs> yeah. video game. You know, she's trying to take over the channel slowly. I'm trying to be the be... top YouTube wife over here. So, yeah. You already are the top YouTube wife. But I might feedback. be a little biased. Um, the next one that sold <laughs> is, is a Garmin Forerunner. This is a watch. It is sold as is. It has a crack, like a little, it's a deep scratch, kind of like crack in the screen. Uh, these go for about 140 30 bucks, brand new, I think, somewhere around there. But ours went for $60. 100, I think like is. 90 bucks used, but I took a best offer. And you know what buy this came from? Nope. Military say. buy. Still paying, making money off the military buy. And next up, we've got this Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm, very dirty Lucky no, Charm. No, I couldn't clean it up. I tried, but it, it just won't get just any cleaner. Really? I, maybe some like polish or something. Yeah, I might need that. And I put in there that it was dirty. Yeah. So this is a paperweight kind of thing. It is kind of heavy actually. By Ger Gerity? Gerity? It's like a good luck. Yeah. You know, four leaf clover. So pretty cool. It's May have ones in different. I think they have like a sterling one too. Um, yeah. This one's not. But this was two bucks at the estate sale that everything was so cheap and I just grabbed it because it looked interesting and it sold for? It sold for $25. I don't know, will it go first class? Probably still. No, no. It's heavy, but I think it'll still go first class. So. And next up we've got uh, Mar Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS. Now what do we know about Mario games? 
they sell really well. She's learning, guys. She's learning. <laughs> and that one sold for 13 and a half shipped. Yeah, Mario games. Oh, here's a cool one. This is a um, Halloween vest. It is looks like it's from the 90s. It's just one of those cutesy little ones that someone knitted together and it's put got like stuff ghosts on it. and yeah. bats and stuff. You'll see on the screen. It's a pretty and cool one. And it's a women's 2XL or a man if he wants to wear it. And it sold for almost 32 shipped. Yeah, that wasn't like a dollar out of garage. I just thought it looked cool. I figured I'd take a chance. And Halloween stuff we talked about is doing well. We've already been talking about what we're going to do for our house for Halloween. So Linda's having me on the hunt for pumpkins. So. I haven't found any yet, but hopefully we'll find some. And uh, then next up, we've got this um, quick snap uh, Fujifilm camera in the box. We've been selling a lot of these. We sold like three or four of these in the past yeah. couple months. But this one did expire in 2007. They all, <laughs> they all should be expired now. There's yeah. any new ones. And it sold for $10 shipped. So, yeah. I don't know. I, think I, don't I probably know paid a buck. I guess people take a chance, but we've sold them and so far we've been okay as long as they're sealed, even though they're expired. CD? And then we got this CD, Shonen Knife by Genki Shock. Oh, is that this? Nope. Oh, that's, that's not the that wrong one. one. Pink one. Sorry, grab the wrong one. Shonen Knife this by Genki Shock. This is what it looks like. Genki? Genki? The, uh, I don't know. It also says on here, Tomato Head. So, and by the Glue Factory. It's just an interesting... Okay. And it sold <laughs> for 13 and a half shipped. I'm not sure what's going on there, but poor horses, right? They're the... Yeah, glue factory. Yeah, that's what I always heard. And then someone bought two of these guys. These we sold tutors. one the other day, and now we sold two to the same buyer. And they sold for almost twenty nine shipped. And they were a dollar each, so that was that was cool. What do we got next? Some camel pants. Oh, I may have not grabbed those because I forgot. Linda did remind me too, and I did not grab them. But we have them. Those are also from the military <gasps> buy, I believe. These are um, the trousers in the desert print. And they sold for 27 shipped, and they are going global shipping program. With the desert camo, with the ones you see on the screen, really I don't like to buy them a lot unless they're either the medium long or large long or extra large long. You want the bigger size than the long ones. The smalls and the regular mediums, they don't sell very well unless you have a big lot of them, so just keep that in mind. This and is a funny one. This is a shout out to your dad. Uh, this is a four pack. Well, it's a... There are two packs, two refills, four packs of this Glade refills. Um, they are the Holiday uh, Love Vanilla Biscotti. Hopefully they are going to be smell. good. We kind of they do smell like vanilla still. They did, yeah, when I got them, but so, they're definitely old. Uh, they're we got old. them from storage unit. Got my father-in-law and I grabbed a whole bunch of them. And they sold for twenty-six and some change. So. We'll see. Hopefully they don't come back. That one I'm a little bit concerned about. But we probably have a couple bucks in them and all of them. Not that one than this yet. And the next up we got a lot of eight Helen McKines. McKines? McKinnis? McKinnis. McKinnis? McKinnis, I think. McKinnis paperback books. These are like spies. This is only two, but we do have eight. Everything. There's eight math. of them. Uh, and they sold for 26 and some change. And they were four bucks, I think, at a garage sale for all of them. And we got <clears> this... Um, out of Linda's right personal collection. No, not. <laughs> looks like, like a bear claw. Like those uh, pastries. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, we sold a massager. We sold a lot of massagers and, you know, obviously Linda's... These aren't Linda's favorite things. She always is a little weirded out by them. Like, what are people using that for? You well, know? I mean, not oh, to be that person. Sticky. But... Why is it oh, sticky? Oh, there's something on there. Yeah. Well, this is clean, but we got to clean this off a little bit. It's sticky. Stop playing with it. No, I've seen what it was. And it, you. <laughs> so that thing sold for 35 shipped. Yay. Ah. So we got to wipe that off. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a piece off of a shark vacuum. This is the rocket version. And it's just the vacuum head with the brush and everything inside of it. And oh, you'll notice that this is uh, fairly clean because I took it apart and cleaned it up. Yeah, with bare hands. <clears throat> and it sold for 40 shipped, guys. That one was five bucks for the whole vacuum, and I got that. And the, the, whole, the wand I have to sell, and I think the whole unit we're selling. So we'll make plenty of money on that. We've been parting out a lot of vacuums. And then next up, we've got a Sanyo DVD recorder. 
Oh. Did you pull that? No, it's over there. It's just uh, big. Another one. No, okay. it's right over there. It's in the And that is, uh, this is model FWZV475F for those of you taking notes at home. And that one did sell for 160 ship. Those go for almost 200 if they're, mine is a little beat up on the cos cosmetically. And is that I have, the right remote? The remote works the system, but I think it came with a black remote normally. Okay. But that remote actually works the same unit. So yeah. aftermarket, but yeah. And then we've got American International. This is the wiring harness for a Ford or yeah, a Ford, I think. Lincoln Mercury. Yeah, well, Ford thing. owns all them, so. Oh, and so there you go. This is one of those things. I don't know if this is out of that buy that you didn't like. No, that was a. This is a separate one. Yeah, that's from uh, one of my sources that lives down the street, and it and was this two one bucks. sold for thirty dollars shipped. So that's pretty good. Pretty yeah. good right there. That one, maybe even a pad of I think. Lego. Lego. Oh, our last little Lego guy. Yeah, we sold one of these just recently, and now here goes our last one. This is from um, Jurassic World, and it sold for thirty, almost thirty-two ships. And that was three bucks at Walmart clearance, but we've held it for a while. And we got this VHS. This is learning to use your ultimate sweater machine on VHS. Look at that, guys, and it's sealed. Mm -hmm. It does have a little bit of a tear there, but. I don't think they're it's buying okay. it to collect it. I think they're buying it to watch it. Oh. Who would collect an ultimate sweater training video? I don't know. But it's sold for 10 and some change. Um, yeah, the problem with that one is, or the situation was, I got an ultimate sweater machine. I parted it all out. I sold all the pieces individually, made a lot of money. I did not even know if this would ever sell. So you probably don't want to list this because it's been up forever. But the other, all the other pieces are worth your time. Just so you know. Mm. Next up, we got a two pack of icon, icon pro shield protein treatment shampoo these are brand new from the discount store we paid four bucks each so we're in for eight and they sold for 34 and some change and i wouldn't buy these again they've taken forever to sell I, they when i first comped them out we have one more set i think and there was a bit a ton of them there i'm glad i didn't buy them all so every once in a while something looks good and it turns out not to be so this is one of those but we'll make we'll make some money on it but uh, definitely not the best item. He did go and get more of the deodorant, guys. Oh, I got a whole... I went. It's been two weeks. Bag. You guys have seen the video. We, we ran out like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. And I've been waiting this whole time to go. And I'm like, I gotta go. And I went this Saturday. Went to the back. I saw a whole just shelf full. I grabbed... I spent a hundred and something bucks on deodorant. I got. I took it all. Because they had exactly a set of two for everyone. And I told the lady, I'm like, hey, do you have any more in the back? She goes, no. And I'm like, well, I cleared you out. You have no more. So I bought it all. But she told me I was like the only one buying it anyways. But either way, at least we got them all because uh, they've been selling, so we'll be able to sell some more deodorant. Yeah. And this is? These are from the cold therapy machine. These are the replacement straps. We just sold the little, remember we sold the little um, the pad with the pad, hose yeah, the, the other day. Pad thingy. And these sold for 20 shipped, and they're actually going global shipping for So we spent now. five on the unit. I sold the pad for 25 and that for 20, and they both go first class. So keep in mind guys you can don't sell those cold therapy those things don't sell them as a whole unit you can get in trouble sell them as parts, parts. yeah because that's the better way to do it you learned it here first because i made some mistakes in the past and then next up we've got this cd finally this is a i showed you earlier it was like a little tease stripped <laughs> everyone likes to be teased a little bit uh by mm, i don't know who it's by it's just a no it's not like, yeah oh, it's, it's just combo like, CD. yeah it's like all a, acoustic and it sold for $20 shipped. I don't know why that CD be worth that much. I have no idea, but I definitely will take it. And then next up, we got these pink pants. So I think they're kind of like jeans. Like jeg they, not maybe, jeggings, but like they're like uh, jean, like a, they're not like soft. Pajama jeans. I don't know. They're kind of like thicker, but not as thick as jeans. Mm. But um. And these are Quacker Factory. That's like a QVC brand. Dream bro. jeans, and they sold for $28 shipped. We bought all that uh, QVC stuff. I wish they had more because we've sold through quite a few pieces now and we still have a bunch more to go, but two bucks in. By the way, I do have a little story to tell you guys at the end about a sale that happened that they wanted to cancel, so I'll tell them at the end. Oh, you want to complain? Yeah, I got to complain to somebody that cares. And then this sale, this is Sabretooth. This is Marvel Comic 1, 2, and 3. Old listing, too. You can tell by the photo. And they sold for ten dollars and seventy nine cents. Won't make a ton, but we're glad to see them go. Yep. Here's a cool one. This is from the video game death pile. The reason it was in there was it was not complete. And actually, we have one disc. We have disc two. We don't have disc one. I was in a 
Facebook group and someone had posted, hey, keep an eye out for this game. It's The price is crazy. It's like a hundred and something bucks. And I'm like, I have that game. So I pulled it out and I put it, the case in the manual by itself and they sold for $55 ship. And we should get about 40 to 50 bucks for this too. So that's awesome right there. Crazy. Glad I held on to that as an investment. Good thinking. And then these are uh, triple pair, triple pair. This is a lot of three. She doesn't know what she's reading. <laughs> Lady Cobra. Triple pair of socks in case you have three feet, you know. These are Cobra King uh, golf club or head King covers. Cobra. Lady King Cobra. Lady. They're laid, Lady they're, Cobra. They're really King Cobra is the brand. Cobra King is what you wrote there. Okay, that's not me then. I should have put King They Cobra. are off white and they are soft plush and they sold for $25. And those are from vacation. For and the, Linda, they were dirty. They were dirty. And Linda got them all nice and clean. They smelled good. So that was really cool. Yeah, that's my job. One of her many roles here. Um, next up we have this uh, navy. It's a parka. And it is... Uh, yeah, it's just a big parka. So it's actually a medium size, but it sold for one fifty shipped, guys. Brand new with tag. That's why we've sold new. this same jacket a oh, couple times. W T. I just saw that for about. We we usually get it for about fifty to sixty bucks if it's used. But this one was brand new, and that came from the military. The military. Though, which we're, we've sold through a lot of it. We're all, we're kind of running out of stuff, which is sad. And next up, we got this lot of five. Um, Torpedoes? They're like the little, the ones you drop in the water, I guess. Yeah, if you find the old vintage ones, they're a lot bigger than this, but like they have ones like have little shark heads on there, stuff like that. Look out for those. They sell really, I sold one for like 50 bucks. And these sold for 18 and some change. I paid five for these. I thought they were going to do a little better. I didn't look them up. I'm like, oh, they'll probably go for like 25 bucks, but they didn't. Well, we we'll still make money. This cool book. <laughs> Here's a cookbook that everybody always this wanted. This is uh snoop dog from crook to cook platinum recipes from the boss dog's kitchen right there guys look at that <laughs> and that one sold for 12 dollars and it did depreciate in value because it used to be 25 so what well, also has a little crease on the cover here this was a dollar in a garage sale i just had to pick it up and get a shout out to snoop dog man just like Shaquille O'Neal, just find a way to constantly uh, just be relevant and make money in the entertainment industry. Literally. Those guys are in like every commercial. Shaquille O'Neal is like in every commercial and he does everything. And There's literally no thing that he's not a spokesperson yeah. for. <laughs> Icy Hot, uh, the general. He has his crew, the cruise lines. He was a gold bond guy. Yeah. Um, he did uh, the pizza. Which one? Uh, Papa John's, didn't he do? I don't know. I don't remember. The shacaroni pizza yeah, or something? Yeah, it feels like he's done a little bit of everything. So yeah. shout out to Shaq. Everybody should love Shaq. <laughs> and then we got this original Xbox uh, Halo Edition controller. The green one. The green one. And it's got the little double thingy right there. Not oh. sure what that's for. But the little double thingy. The double <laughs> And you it guys is know. like that clear green color. It is wired and it sold for 35 shipped global shipping program. Yep. So that's a cool one. I think this is our last one. Even though we're waiting on that purchase. But yeah. yeah. No live sales. Yeah. We got about 45 minutes left. So we'll wait for the countdown. Okay. And then we got this lot of five of the keyboard thingies. We've got addition, subtraction, and... They're all the same. What? They're all addition. One's multiplication. Oh, and a multiplication one. And They're all different ones. They Basically, are the just so you guys math. can see, you like there's like a little problem there, and then you push it, and it gives you a little answer. So it's like three times nine, and you can see 27. You probably can't see it, but trust me, those of you need to work on your times tables, this would have been helpful. And those sold for forty five dollars for. Now I used to. I, if you find a set that's all of them, where it's math, one that's a, they're all math, duh. But if it's an addition, a subtraction, division, and a multiplication, you have the four of them. You can lob them together and get about fifty five bucks, sixty bucks for that set, especially if it's the Lakeshore edition ones. These are ones I've had, and I just never find them anymore. So I said I'm just gonna lob them all together, and if someone wants them, they can have them. So forty five bucks, I wanted them out of the garage. So I'm probably in these for about five bucks. We're gonna probably ship them for what? Maybe 12 to 14, somewhere in there. Yeah, that big one kind of throws it off. But they're not that heavy, but either way, we'll make some money there. And I'm glad to see them go. So, and you can sell an individual one, but if you're getting like a 15 to 20 bucks ship by the time you pay shipping, it's not that great. So, it's better to at least have a couple. And that's all we have. So, thank you for Oh, so someone bought a Bible this weekend uh, on Friday, well, Saturday morning, early in the morning. Um, they're in a national buyer. It's a Dakes annotated Bible for $75 or $85 plus they paid the global shipping program. 
The buyer messaged me to say, if this isn't a giant print Bible, after they already purchased, this is at about three in the morning, four in the morning. If it's not a giant print Bible, I can't uh, accept it because I have diabetes and I can't read small print. And you misled me in your listing, so please let me know. I'm like, okay, there's a message about 30 minutes later. Um, are you gonna message me before you ship it out? Question mark. About a 30 minutes later, a uh, payment dispute because item is not described and they opened up a case against me. Mind you, it's only uh, been about an hour now since they purchased it. I'm still asleep at this point. I wake up and I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I look at my listing, I'm like, it doesn't say giant print anywhere. Nowhere in the listing. And I show the print and you can usually tell if it's giant print or not. And of course, you know, if the buyer would have said, hey, the first two messages, I would have said, oh sure, I'll cancel the sale, no problem. But they literally made a, Ida, a payment dispute to tell me the item was not as described. And I'm like, of course it was described, right? Because somehow you use your magic detective skills and you read the listing and found out that it actually wasn't a giant print. And you figured that out on your own. I didn't tell you that. So it must have not been listed inaccurately if you figured all that out on your own and decided to put up a case. Either way, there are people out there who just are just not really paying attention and just try to... I don't know. They just panic and cause problems. So it happens to all of us. So I had a payment dispute, which we have to respond to, and then we have to cancel the order. And I'm not sure. I don't want to cancel the order and refund and refund the payment dispute. I want it to like double dip on me or whatever. So I got to figure all that out. But either way, it does happen. Uh, hopefully that person just gets figured out. I mean, no offense to anybody with diabetes. It's not about that. It's just about, you know, read the listing. If you have a question, ask the question and give someone at least a couple hours to respond. You know what I mean? Just, just, you know, my two cents. Either way, that's my rant. Thank you for listening. If you made it this far, feel free to let us know. Uh, Linda had to hear this twice. So, and my friend who's going to probably watch the YouTube video already heard it as well. So, he'll hear it twice too. Thank you guys, though. We appreciate it. And we'll see you with what sells uh, tomorrow, Monday. Or maybe if Linda has another sale to show you, she'll be back. Yeah. Okay?